let A, B and C be finite sets. In this video, I'm going to show that the cardinality of A complement intersection B is equals to the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of A intersection B. Then I'll go on and show that the cardinality of A complement intersection B complement intersection C is equals to the cardinality of C minus the cardinality of A intersection C minus the cardinality of B intersection C plus the cardinality of A intersection B intersection C. And then I'll go on and uh, consider the range 1 to 1 million and find the integers that are not divisible by 5 nor by 7 but are divisible by 3. So I'll start by looking at uh, the first one there showing that the cardinality of A complement intersection B is equal to the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of A intersection B. Looking at the left hand side there we are having the cardinality of a complement intersection B. If you still recall, we used a set builder notation to show that at the set difference A minus B is equals to A intersection B complement. So we can use this result here. In this case, uh, we are having an A complement, but here we are having a B complement. So we can just interchange in this formula where we have the A, we put the B, where we have the B, we put the A. So that would have the set difference B minus A is equals to B intersection A complement. So that uh, what we are having here on uh, the left there would be having that the cardinality of A complement intersection B, it will then give us the cardinality of the set difference B minus A. But we also have another result which says that the cardinality of the set difference A minus B is equals to the cardinality of A minus the cardinality of uh, a intersection B. So for us to simplify this part here, we have to interchange here where we have the A, we put the B, where we have the B, we put the A. So that instead of uh, the A minus B here, we have B minus A. So when we do that, we would get that um, the cardinality of B minus A will be equals to the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of uh, A intersection B, which has uh, shown what was required there. So I can move now to question number two. For question number two, on the left hand side, we are now having the cardinality of A complement intersection B complement intersection C. What we can do is we can use uh, this result which you have just obtained, but on the part where we have the B, we'll be replacing with this part here where we are saying B complement intersection C. So if we do that, replacing the B in this uh, expression here, Put B complement intersection C, our expression becomes the cardinality of B complement intersection C minus the cardinality of A intersection B complement intersection C. But if we look at uh, this part here, B complement intersection C, the cardinality of that, we can use uh, this formula that we have just shown because we are having an A complement intersection B. In this case, we are having B complement intersection C. So what we do is in this formula here, where we have the A, we put the B. Where we have the B, we put the C. So that our expression there becomes the cardinality of C minus the cardinality of B intersection C. Now moving on to this part here, what is inside the cardinality there? We can uh, rewrite it using the associative law for sets. Both A intersection B complement intersection C. I can put the B complement at the beginning there so that it uh, becomes cardinality of B complement intersection A intersection C. So that's the expression that we are having now and I'll go on and uh, look at uh, this part here. We can use uh, this earlier result that we have just shown but in this formula here where we are having the A we replace it with the B. Where we are having the B, we replace it with A intersection C. So that our expression there becomes cardinality of uh, C minus uh, cardinality of B intersection C. And then minus cardinality of A intersection C minus the cardinality of B intersection A intersection C. But now looking at uh, this part B intersection A intersection C, we can just rewrite that using associative laws and it will become A intersection B intersection C so that our expression becomes the cardinality of C minus the cardinality of A intersection C minus the cardinality of B intersection C plus the cardinality of 
A intersection B intersection C. So in this case, we now have uh, shown that uh, the cardinality of uh, A complement intersection B complement intersection C is equals to the cardinality of uh, C minus the cardinality of A intersection C minus the cardinality of B intersection C plus the cardinality of A intersection B intersection C. So I'll now move on to question number three of uh, finding integers in that range 1 to 1 million that are not divisible by 5 nor by 7 but are divisible by 3. So to answer this question, I would denote the set of integers that are divisible by 5 by S5. The set of integers in that range that are divisible by 7, I would denote it by S7. And the integers in that range that are divisible by 3, I would denote it by S3. So when you are saying that it's not divisible by 5, that means we'll be taking S5 complement. Not divisible by 7, we are taking S7 complement, but divisible by 3, so it will be S3. So what we'll be doing there is we are finding the cardinality of S5 complement intersection, S7 complement intersection, S3 complement. Enter using this formula here that we have just obtained there. It uh, gives us the cardinality of S3 minus cardinality of uh, S5 intersection S3 minus the cardinality of S7 intersection S3 plus the cardinality of S5 intersection S7 intersection S3. But now for the cardinality of S3 here, we can use the flow value and it will give us uh, the flow value of 1 million divided by 3. For the cardinality of S5 intersection S3, S5 intersection S3, these are numbers divisible by 5 and 3. So it will be the flow value of 1 million divided by 5 times 3. S7 intersection S3, numbers divisible by 7 and 3. It will be the flow value of uh, 1 million divided by 7 times 3. And then uh, for the last part, numbers that are divisible by 5, 7 and 3. It will be plus the flow value of 1 million divided by 5 times 7 times 3. And uh, when you evaluate those flow values, we would get that uh, the result there is 228,571.